you should have you should have bought a hook struck too. Yeah, so we're gonna just reuse these these screws for that. Something bending. No, that's the leaves. Right, so not my tight enough. This is just a shield. This doesn't have anything to grab. Oh, it does. More secured than the left one. Maybe that rubber piece was to bring it down. I don't know. Nope. 
same thing. I felt something, yeah. But this doesn't want to go all the way down, that's the thing. If it don't work, I don't know. Man, this one is ripped. Let's see what happens. Side, so I'm with this side. Yeah, we still gotta take that piece off. Yeah, if that doesn't do anything, I have no idea. Nah. Alright, uh, here's. Well, what's that? It's like a little clipper. Man, I'd be mad as hell if that was the issue. So that since this is like this, and we have one clip, make sure this side is clipped. Then later on you gotta be able to do that. Yeah. But you know what? Let me do the measure. So that goes down. I, I did this earlier, but then I, I was thinking about that rubber thing. That, that that's why you have to. So all you gotta do now is find a, is find a bumper clip so we can put this on. Yeah. We gotta go out for a test drive or something to make sure it doesn't fly out. I, I don't think it's gonna fly out. As soon as, as, as long as that latch is on, it's not gonna let go. It's not gonna let go, it's already locked in. But you need a clip. So every time you close your hood, you have to do it and make sure it's both planted. Like I guess you're driving around with this. Yeah, it's great. This car looks way different now. Well, how do you feel about it? It's aggressive. Uh, I would have got it. I would have got it without the vent. Yeah. The water is going to get in it, into it. Maybe I might gotta get a shear or something. Then that's still, uh, still got the little lips too. Which is probably good. It needs to be painted. It's going to slide down here. I think that's the way it's designed. When you look at it, I think it's just going to go here. Because this is covered. So it's not really functional, it's just designed. So really there's no air coming in. Yeah. Because they have, they have this black piece right here. That's covering it. Oh, that's a new hood. In that old one, John. Sat inside the garage. I said that's the cat right there. So I mean it's already scratch up my car. That's the, the, you know. the hood. I thought you talking about the other one. Yeah. The other one is bigger than that. Uh 
Um, you want me to open the hood? Alright, I'm going to spray again. Uh, spraying inside of her, huh? Damn, you carry both poles? I think it's Molly. Yeah. Can't be. That's how it looks. Actually, I think it's fiber. Yeah. I got it. What the hell is this? Does it go in? Like stock, yeah. Yeah, it don't look the same to you. <laughs> I, I thought it would have had like, like a little flare, like maybe something like that, and then, you know what I mean? It looks. I mean, once like you know, color match it, you'll see it. It looks stock. Not wrong with it, but like, like you, you see how my car is? It has like a little. Yeah. I, I mean, I could, I could also put a splitter on it. I'll add a chin. You know, uh, we'll get see. The, get, the, get the whole. You're gonna wrap the whole car in it. I actually have the spray paint for it. You're the sprayer. I got, yeah, I got two bottles. Oh, to make it close? Basically, the factory um, hood it has like like a half an inch nut sitting right here, sticking low. This one doesn't have it, so I had to twist this to make it come further down more, so it's able to go in here. So when you lock the hood, it latches to it. Before we had this twist all the way up, it's not even touching this, so the hood was just sticking up. So you modify this. It looks kind of sketchy still. Yeah. Either that or find a bigger clip and just put it in that hole. Right now we're missing the rubber bumper. Bumper stopper here. Have to make this hole bigger, buy, the, buy it from the dealership and twist it in. So when you close it, it don't really flex on the hood. But right now we don't have it. And then we have to make a hole for the... The... Um, the washer, the washer fluid um, spray. So I made a hole and I use black duct tape. Tape it up. I mean, that's how it looks like. It's not perfect, but who looks under the hood every day? So it's, you're gonna test it out, see if it works. See, right now, when you close it, see that locks it in the middle and then the two sides. See, it's good. 